Hyvern, WhatsApp, other guys. I was receiving lot and lots of DMs asking about my outreach internship experience, its process, tips for answering the questions of initial application, and most importantly, reviewing their initial application answers. So I think I am not able to answer all these queries in DM, as there was too many DMs. So I decided to make a dedicated video on my experience and tips for initial application and the contribution period as well. So I will try to answer all your queries in this video. So let's get started. So first of all, what is basically outreach internship? Uh, I guess as you have heard about GSOC, so this is kind uh, outreach is also kind of similar with GSOC. Outreach is basically an open source program where you first of all you fill an initial application based on your experiences and then if you get selected in this, that initial application you will get this chance for contributing in different projects then you will contribute in a project that suits your skills best and then if you get selected you will get a chance for doing three month internship with that organization so basically this is a complete outreach program okay now so Talking about my experience of this internship, like it was all started around January mid when I saw the initial applications of how to were out and I also failed out with no hopes. Literally with no hopes. Okay. And so uh, I failed around January mid, so it's better to do as early as possible. And uh, so basically what kind of questions are there with initial applications? Questions like uh, discrimination if you faced while applying for a job, what problems you have faced by reading your skills. So these kind of questions were there uh, in the initial application. So my key advice for answering these questions is that explain your, give your experiences, talk about your experiences. Don't just like generic answer that we not generally we face these, these problems and all. I don't think we should do this. We should talk about our experiences only so that it will create more impact for the answers. So this is my only key advice. I also adopted this technique for answering my questions during my time. And more things like answering should answer should be written in points if you want to, but I don't think that is more relevant. But you can, it would be better and uh, more things like adding stats to your answers will also create more impact. So these are the key things which you should keep in my mind while answering the questions of initial application. So yeah, this was all started around January mid and at my time applications were open to in February mid. So I completed my application around January end. But it would be advised, advisable that you should do it as early as possible because uh, as they are not asking for any resume and all. So I guess uh, if you are the first one and your answers are impactful, then you will be, you will get this, you will be get selected. Okay. So now after one month around March starting, I got a mail that your initial application is selected. So this was unexpected now because this was completely unexpected because so I have I haven't done any research on RPG on its projects nothing else because I was not expecting uh, so uh, when I got the inspection mail of my initial application I started researching about organizations and what uh, of which organizations are existing this year in which organization I can contribute so all this research I did after selection of my initial application Okay, so now talking about the contribution period. And during the contribution period, first of all, keep in co remain co in contact with your mentors and community members. They are there to help you. They will literally help you. Don't just hesitate to ask any kind of doubts. I am not saying that uh, if you came across any doubt, just go and ask. First of all, do research on yourself and then ask the community members or your mentor. They will surely help you. I took too much help from community members, literally, they are really helpful. Yeah. So, 
first of all, in the contribution period, there is a question how to select the project. The best, first of all, you should select the project based which suits your case best. Otherwise, how you will be able to contribute in that project. So first of all, select the project uh, which are according to your skills. Then analyze various, if there are more than one or two projects in which you can contribute, then analyze various things like how many people are contributing in that project, from which time they are contributing, and in at which level of issues you can contribute to that project. So all these factors also matter. Now, as I said that, from which time they are contributing in that project. So it basically means if you start early, it will increase your chances of selection. So how you will start early? Because organizations are not, you can't see organizations before the selection of initial application. So you can do this by analyzing the past organizations. Like if this organization is coming from three years continuously, so it will also come this year. Or I can say that if this organization came in 2022 but doesn't get listed in 2023, so it will get listed. It might get listed in 2024. So you can do this kind of analysis and start contributing in the organizations earlier. Okay. So if you are starting early, talking about if you are starting early, so you should start with at least two because the reason is also there. Because if you start with only one, and let's suppose it doesn't come, so your effort will get wasted, right? So you should start with three if you are starting earlier, and get it stick to more, not more than three because you, so you will not be able to uh, focus on them. Now, if you are starting after the selection of your initial application, so first of all, you should start with one only, okay? But if you think that you are not able to contribute in that properly, or there is lot and lots of competition, or there are many people which are contributing in that project from a very long time. So if you think that uh, these are the things which might stop your selection in this internship, so you can also took up some other projects and start contributing in that. But during the uh, contribution period, don't uh, go for more than two because uh, obviously contributing needs a lot of time so if you start with more than two then you will not be able to focus on any of this as i think but if someone is then it's good okay so yeah during the contribution period start with one or two thoughts it's contributing then in these issue in the pro in the issues related to these projects and if you came across any kind of doubts then do seek help from mentors community members they are there to help you Okay, I also did the same, first of all I started with a uh, project related to development, but then I thought that there, is, there are many people and there are many people that are contributing that project since a very long time. So I thought I should also took up some other project, then I took up some other project which was compiler and hopefully I get selected in that only. Okay, so, uh, so analyze various things and then do accordingly. Okay, yeah, and uh, what uh, else, yeah, now after uh, contribution period ends for one month, you need to fill in final application with all the contributions, all the uh, PRs, all the code reviews, or you have to uh, give links to all those in the final application. Okay, now around April is starting, I finalized my final application. After filling the final application, after one month, you will get the result of your internship and fortunately I got selected. So if I talk about this duration, filling the final application and getting the result, this was the period of around one month. My advice for this period is that don't leave that project. Keep contributing in that project in that duration as well. Because it will only show your interest. Obviously let's see this uh, this person who is contributing in the project after filling final application seems to be more interested in that project. So yeah, I, my advice is that don't leave that project after filling the final application. Keep contributing in that one. Okay. So yeah, this was all my experience and this is the whole process of outreach. 
and after the selection of your internship you will be closely working with your mentors co interns if any and community members will always be there to help you can go to anyone reach out to anyone and seek help from and then okay so this was all my experience uh, i would also suggest you to apply for this internship this is a very good internship very good chance for contributing in open source and get paid obviously all of you know the it's is type and it's very huge and in indian currency so yeah so uh, that was very great so yeah let's now let's see the its timeline for the 2024 Let's come to my screen. So here is some information about what is RTG. It is a paid remote internship program with a stipend of seven thousand uh, dollars. So let's see the eligibility of this uh, RTG internship. As the person who are not students are also eligible for this. Let's see. Uh, general eligibility: you must be eighteen years. You must be available for a full-time internship. This internship requires 30 hours per week, and this internship will be running from 27 May 2024 to 23 August 2024. And person should not be a past RTG intern, should not be a past Google Summer of Code intern. This is the timeline, and yeah, these are the rules for people who are doing jobs who are not currently students. So outreach internship timeline. You must not have a full time job during the outreach internship. Must not have full time contracting position during the internship. Must not be on leave of absence. So these are some eligibility for the people who are doing job and want to apply for outreach. Those for people who are not students. Okay, people who are not students are welcome to apply for outreach. And there are two internship cohorts, May to August and December to March. So people who are not students can contribute in any of the cohort. Okay, and who are students, both students and people who are not students are welcome to apply for outreach. You must have 42 consecutive days. A student must apply to the correct internship cohort. So apply according to your eligibility and your cohort. In which you are eligible, whether you are a student, whether you are doing job, whether you are not a student. Okay. So let's see the timeline of this internship. Yeah. So initial applications are open from 15 of Jan, and they will remain open till 29 Jan. So do hurry up. It's only around 10 days remaining for this application. And on March one, project list will be finalized, and on March four, initial application results will be declared. And from the March four, you will be able to see all the projects and contribute in that project. And on April two, you will need to fill the final applications with all your contributions listed. And on May one, final results will be out, and from May twenty seven, your internship period will. Start. Okay, so there are mainly three parts: initial application, contribution period, and intern selection period. And there is some uh, information about essay questions, what type of questions, and how you should answer this question. There are also tips in uh, listed here that how you should answer, what things you should include in your answers. So. And what you should not include is also listed here. Okay, so keep in mind these rules because if you violate these, then obviously you will get rejected. Uh, and uh, there are various rules like in the out in outages you should keep your answers concise because there is a limit to characters. You can't write a story and a story and so on. Okay, so read this all the. Eligibility uh, information and all and I'm sure. I hope I have answered all your queries in this video. But if you still have any queries or doubts remaining, or you need any suggestions, then you can post in the comment section, or you can reach out to me on LinkedIn. I will surely try to answer all your queries. And do hurry up, guys! There are very less than many days left for the initial application dead deadline. Till then, bye bye, guys. See you soon with the next video. Bye bye.